Code.org's Deep Dive Workshop for CS Fundamentals teachers is really designed for folks who are already in the classroom and already implementing. Unlike the introductory workshop, which is really for folks who are still trying to figure out if they want to teach the course, this workshop is really, really focused on helping you identify and address the barriers that you see in your classroom right now. The Deep Dive and introductory workshops are often offered together. And when we do that, there are two one-day workshops. It's really important to note that in order to attend the deep dive workshop, you don't actually have to go to the introductory workshop. So in situations where schools and districts are offering both, we recommend that there's at least one month in between the two to give those teachers who have gotten started through the intro workshop time to implement before they come to the deep dive. The deep dive workshop is built around really achieving three goals with the teachers. First is to help them identify and address the barriers that are keeping them from implementing the course in the way they want. The second is to help them improve and expand their teaching practice by really exploring the curriculum and getting hands-on. And the third is to help them plan for the future and plan to go above and beyond what they're already doing with CS Fundamentals in their classroom. All of the activities that we do during the workshop are in service of helping achieve these goals with our teachers. Let's start with barriers and supports. We start our day at the deep dive workshop trying to really understand and draw out the challenges and barriers that teachers are facing in their classrooms and in their schools right now. This is why it's so important that they've started teaching the course already. If you haven't started teaching, you might not know what questions you're going to have. During this time, we're pulling out the real life challenges that folks have, and we're not trying to answer them all in the moment, but we are trying to figure out how we can answer them over the course of the day. That's why we start with barriers and supports, but we certainly don't end that in the first couple of hours. It's something that we do for the whole workshop. The middle section of the agenda in the deep dive workshop is really focused on using the curriculum with your students. We spend time here thinking about instructional strategies and classroom practices, like supporting debugging practices with your students and really leveraging the code.org tools in order to manage your classroom. But we also focus on using lessons themselves and the instructional practices that teachers can, can really exemplify during those lessons in order to build an inclusive environment in their classroom. During this period of time, teachers are getting hands-on experience as learners and as teachers in order to get better context for how this stuff can work in their classroom and with their kids. We finish the day with planning, and this is planning in the form of both lesson planning and implementation planning. In lesson planning time, we're trying to help teachers think really concretely about how they will take the written lesson that's on the code.org website and then use it with their students. This is how you take uh, the activities and turn them into action. Implementation planning time is flexible time focused on giving people space to coordinate with other people who have similar constraints. So tech teachers with tech teachers, classroom teachers with classroom teachers to go forward and make a concrete plan for how they're going to implement CS fundamentals in the rest of the year. 